Also a request to have add assistant fire chief report. Uh, do you want to uh, add Sandhill Firefighters Association? Oh, Firefighters Association. The prevention is added and in the chief report. After, okay. After the. That's great. That would be a, ri a written office? report. A written report. Yeah. Yes. And then <clears throat> ask questions if you have any. Yes. Question. Okay. Would this because the fire, the fire the association, right, and the nonprofit and the community, would it be better to have a section that says community service organizations? It's kind of like the advisory runs where they have the one blob that just, you know, if, if something happens, that would that be, include the, the advisory council? Yes. Yeah. It would. Mm -hmm. uh, we could do that. What do you want? What did you call yeah. Community service organization. Community service. Would that also be the chamber, or is that it? Yeah, the chamber, the native sons, the native daughters, the lions. It encompasses everybody that wants to submit a report to us. What NGOs? So you could just put what you said as one, and all of them would fall under that. Yeah. Right. Just okay. like the county, any county entity could have the report to that. Uh, it, so we have, a, we have a public comment. I'm not the public. <laughs> I can be the public if you want me to be the public. Staff. Yes. For the for the. What would, what would we call this thing now? The community, community service, service groups. Organization. Yeah, I don't believe there should be a written report. It should be a verbal report, an oral report. And if you have you know any particular questions, they could be answered. But I can't make them do a written, no. even the county and stuff. Right. So Counts. you yeah. get what you get. The, the advisory council is even a written report. National Guard is not a written report. Right. So I just that's put it, whatever okay. they give me, and that's what I put it. <clears throat> that's fine. Well, at, at the very minimum, like for example, Sheriff, can we get numbers? Of calls to our, our district that they've responded it, to? Or it has to be the, you can ask. the representative who's able to speak on behalf of the sheriff's department. It can't be Officer John. Okay. Well, what have we got to do to get those people in here? Uh, we make phone calls. That they say your meeting's on a the night of the home. same meeting as this meeting. You just just tell them we're going to have cookies next time. <laughs> they do come to the well, advisory. That would be donuts. And they do, and they do come to the advisory council meetings. Right. I don't know why I can't get them here. I'm offered bathrooms and everything. I would also <laughs> like to add an item. Can I get one clarification first sure. before you move on? So with the staff and committee or staff committee reports, non-district reports, we're going to do San Luis Obispo County, Camp Roberts, and community service organizations. So we'll have three. Am I correct? The advisory council gets punched into the into the community. Okay. Just yeah. want to make sure that was clarified that that's what you yep. wanted. Okay. I'm good with it. Everybody good with it? Everybody good with it? We're going for five minutes. Yeah. Okay. They're good with it. The advisory might consider themselves the county or well, um, if they decide to show up. Well, right. We'll find a place to see. Yeah, yeah. 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 that was last night. Employee right. evaluations. Uh, Blaine, we used to have an item that was always continued in our closed session. Anytime we had a closed session, it was in there. It was something I requested several years ago. And it, keep, it keeps slipping in and slipping out of our agenda. Can I help with that one? And I would like to have it on there always. Every time there's a closed session, I want it on there. So that if something needs to be discussed, it can be discussed. Am I correct, Victoria? We have to specifically agendize which employment position we are talking about, so we can't have a standing general performance manager. evaluation into the agenda. Our employee, the general manager. We can add that to the closed session. I wouldn't recommend that we amend the handbook to include that permanently as part of the agenda. Okay, well, I mean, we've done this before, and then it just goes away again. Well, that's on me. So we'll make sure. I'll make sure tomorrow from now on we have like, for December. So starting December, we'll have closed session for the performance evaluation. Thank you. February. I think I already have it. Oh, <laughs> just one point now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you have something? Yes, I have a question. Yes, you do. Actually, two. Uh, one would be adding the board comment section for after the staff and committee reports, like the form we had somewhere today. Sorry, if there is something, we're all tired, we can have it till twice on the agenda. I, I don't know how the rest I think we should have it at the end because I'm always writing things down throughout the meeting. I know. You, have have, you will have to keep that one. Mm -hmm. Have two. That's what he's asking. Oh, yeah, let's just add another hour to the meeting. <laughs> well, 
the other thing that also <coughs> we're looking at is pretty much, are we going to move to two meetings a month? I mean, every single CSD except for Los Angeles is now on that. Um, my fear on that is, well, we're already doing two. The, it takes a lot of time well, know, for these. Please. Just because you have two awesome. meetings doesn't mean you're going to have smaller agendas. There will be stuff that comes up, uh -huh. and then you just shorten the time mm -hmm. to right. prep these agendas to less than a week because mm -hmm. you're going to have to have a week for you guys to review it. And then you're going to go right back into it. And honestly, I don't think it's enough time. Yeah, I, you know what? We, we have special we, meetings. We, just right. we have we special just meetings. Have special meetings. You're there. not retired. I don't have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me just so you it takes me a good two weeks to put these emails together. And so two and two is four and I have a billing job I also do. And to prep a lot of the stuff with questions that the board needs, uh, to get information and get response back, it there's really one week's not enough time. Mm -hmm. You're asking for like five working days in a week to prep everything, and then it's got to be done. Then you got to put it all together. Right. Well, then we have to actually do the other. Um, what would you have to be meeting about? Did you have the general manager's report twice in a month? It, well, I'm sorry, what? What would you have the meeting about? You, you just have, have the general meeting. manager's report twice in a well, month? No, you would have, have, you would have staff month? reports on one meeting, and then you'd have, you'd have closed session and, and Nuts and bolts items. So you well, that would on a different that would definitely take a change of the bylaws at that yeah, point, right? Yes. Yes. Because you'd have to say this meeting is for this, this meeting yes. is for that. Right. Mm. Right. Because mm. yeah. honestly, to, to see two time. meetings, is, you know, two of the same meetings makes no sense. Teamwork, Colin. I mean, we have that's special that's meetings. Let's review that right. in December yeah. of 2020. Well, Next month we are going to do board like president like and dates. Mm -hmm. Give you time to discuss mm -hmm. it kind of then too. Mm -hmm. bring that bring that back. Oh, in twenty twenty. December. Yeah, around I November concur. 11th. I concur. <laughs> okay, that's two. November twelfth. Okay November twelfth. <laughs> yeah. 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 November third. Yeah. Bring it back in this. Come on, bring it back in December twenty twenty. I know. We got Long three. Year. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it will be on November 10th. Oh, I can say yes that. now. <laughs> <laughs> but it, the only reason why I bring it up is some of our meetings are like running they run a little bit late, late, and sometimes our clothes actually run out of time. Mm -hmm. And so, well, and just, you, and you guys can stop have talking. I can have a in six minutes. You guys can yeah. have a meeting twice a month, but one of them be just a closed session. We have talked about that. Right, Rob? I don't know. I'm just a meeting. Does be a closed session? I'm still a fan. I'm not a fan of the way necessary. It's like you don't want to I would be uh, uh, agreeable to two board comments if they're limited in the Okay, so yeah. okay, so let's say this. No monologuing. No no two board comments, but you only get to comment at one of the you board comments. You can't say that. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. I'll have Choose wisely. Stick your battle. So yeah, that's that's the 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 so I've never actually seen two board comments on an agenda before, so I would limit it to either the beginning or end. I think the way that you'll have it at the end is better. Um, I have seen two public comment sections, one at the beginning, one at the end. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are going to look to bookend something, maybe do that, but I wouldn't do two board comment sections. Okay. We just have to be nice at the end of this. So we're just changing the staff. And you're just staff yeah, for yeah. Right. And then, um, evaluation. Yeah. Okay. And evaluation. Just yeah. Discuss immediate repair needs. Uh, child of waste water treatment facility. <laughs> Potential cost and time, and, and you could probably segue right into seven. Let's do that. Let's, Let's do, do the public that. comment in between. Thanks. We will. We will have okay. full public comment. Is there any public comment? Go ahead. 
push aside. So basically, we're, we're, we are still at the same position where we have a damaged liner with multiple holes. And we have the estimate to fix it from one company that's $8,500. I'm still trying to identify additional liner companies that may be interested in coming out here. Unfortunately, it's been unsuccessful so far. Um, on the motor, we are looking at potentially $7,600. However, um, we may be able to get it directly from Aqua Aerobics. Six cheaper. Seven. Seven thousand six hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's like Valley Electric, who gave us the initial pro price, has to buy it from Aqua Aerobics. Um, if we can get it from them directly, then it'll most likely be cheaper. Pay out the million. <coughs> um, we are still working on that. So in December, we intend to bring it back with more firm pricing. Okay, you um, told us what was the amount for the line for a repair of the line? Eight thousand five hundred. Yeah. Eight five hundred dollars for yeah. the repair based on what the guy saw when he came out and looked at it. Okay, and he, they're willing to do the do the work. He says that his company probably put it in in the first place. So, what's the warranty? So he wants to give us a discount. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Uh, okay. Um, okay, and then comparing that to holding out, abandoning that pond, and, and holding out. So, <coughs> holding out and abandoning that pond is not an option. Okay. If we were a lot closer to building a treatment plant, then the the ability for us to negotiate that with the state would be a lot higher. We are still at least a year away from building any treatment process, so they're not going to allow us to operate in three months. For okay. Year. So then there would be the cost of not only repairing it, but if you move your building to that location, which was discussed at the last meeting, which would be a, a really cool thing that we could do that, uh, by gaining the access on the, on the easement, um, then you'd be repairing something. Well, you wouldn't be throwing the motor away, but you'd be throwing the line away. So in that particular instance, the only way that the state would, well, essentially the only way the state would allow us not to fix it is if we were immediately going into abandoning that pond and repurposing it as flat ground for a building. Right. And so, we can't make that commitment. Um, I'm not willing to make that commitment yet. The, uh, after the last meeting on the 14th about the facilities and the discussion that took place then, we are still looking at the option of moving the building and the costs associated with moving the building and providing access for Mint Street. So after our next facility meeting, which I don't remember what day that was, but... The 6th. Did you guys decide one? Huh? You guys decided one? Yeah, we did. <clears throat> Are we talking about the the functional space? Yeah. Was it on December 6th? The 5th. The 5th. So on the 5th, yeah. we should have uh, a so reasonable estimate. Yeah, I don't think you get some. Oh, you didn't put that in stone. It's on my calendar. You said don't put it in my calendar because they were more sure. Well, I don't have it in my calendar, so it didn't exist. <laughs> but uh, no, that's in my, basically, at this point, we're I'm going to try to find some more contractors for a liner price. Um, in December, we're going to have to make a decision whether to fix it or not. But that will be after hopefully having a, another discussion about the treatment plant and the orientation and the potential cost for that. So, so we're only discussing the cost. You're not asking to. In December, right now we're just discussing it. Okay. Right. Originally, I was going to ask for a consensus to move forward, but because of what happened on the 14th, hmm. uh, I'm not confident that it's going to be as necessary. So I don't want to spend any money until we have the next discussion about where the building is going to be. Oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the, um, but regardless, at the December meeting, there will have to be some formal direction on which way we go. And that is on the 19th, just like last. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Holidays suck. I suck you, Grinch. <laughs> I don't have I, enough time to get this. It is fun to turn it to Grinch. Okay. okay. Um, is there any public comment? No. Yeah. Uh, I, I just want to say about the treatment plant and everything. I mean, I think it's going to be dead wrong. I say, well, I say 
size it down a little bit, but use the easement. Don't go through a residential street. Were you at our last meeting? Yeah. At the functional? On the 14th? On the 14th. Yeah, on the 14th. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I couldn't agree more. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make sense to go through a residential when K Street is a commercial street. N. N, yeah. Or N Street. Yeah. Right by the feed mill. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be harming anybody. No. Maybe and, the one house on the corner. Yeah. And, I mean, I mean that, that's, 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 that's a lot of houses down through. Uh, I know, it's not a neighborhood that I It don't make any sense. Street. I just, it doesn't. The way that street is laid out, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I saw a public comment. Yeah. Did you have one? Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. So, you guys have any other questions? Are we going, are we going, into, are we going into the Matado? We are, we are going into item seven. Okay. Yes. I apologize that it's passing. Yeah. So this is just an update yeah. from every prior one. one. Yeah. And essentially, we're at just my portion, an average for August. I could say. Obviously, that's not the For October, we're at 73 percent of our design capacity, 86 percent of our Design capacity for max flow in October. In October. Uh, uh, July in October. Well, it says August actually. So well, I know it says August, there. but the uh, and we have one year and three months to have either bend our capacity or prove the state wrong and then underneath our capacity. Other than that, um, moving forward, we got an agreement from. Uh, the SRF are from DFA in the state for our SRF loan for our sorry, grant for our uh, design phase of $250,000. So we should be getting that back in the next couple weeks. Nice. Uh, that that loan or that uh, grant actually is retroactive to 2017. So essentially, everything that we've done that wasn't covered by the previous grant will be covered by this grant. How much will take you to this review? Okay. <coughs> uh, that's good news. It is good news. Uh, I do have for me. So, uh, the engineering study and the reclaim, or the reclaim, or the uh, recharge study was covered under a separate grant. This, co or this grant will cover the entire cost of construction design and then we're currently pursuing grants and grant loans for the actual construction and John Pichon has expressed and Debbie Arnold for that matter have expressed uh, interest in investing in this community via CBDG into infrastructure mm -hmm. so for what that's worth we'll see how that plays out question on the system that we'll be procuring I know we're looking at an MBR. Mm -hmm. uh, we put together an RFP for that. Uh, we have started an RFP, and we needed to make some adjustments to it. So it'll hopefully. The intent was to bring it back at the same time we brought back the RFP procedure that Elaine mentioned earlier. So hopefully it's sooner than later. But at the latest, it'll be January. Okay. Well, question for legal, Elaine. Uh, recently, I run an RFP for my employer, Cal Poly, uh, specifically for a wastewater treatment plant for a wine and viticulture building on campus. Uh, one of the proposing companies was Cloacina. They're one of the companies that will likely propose for this. And I awarded this work to Cloacina. Uh, being that that's the case, would I need to recuse myself from evaluating or participating in the RFP? And or would I need to recuse myself from voting uh, to approve purchase of said system. I doubt it, but let me let me ask our um, conflict check expert yeah. at the office. But I doubt it. Okay. Speaking of that, have any of four of you decided that you wanted to go on a tour? Because if you do, you need to contact Blaine and he'll set it up. 
I can only have two go at a time. Oh. But I, you might have seen one already. Well, I mean, um, I Director Sangster, did you say that the company, uh, that Cal Poly already awarded the contract to this company, and this is the same company y'all are looking to potentially use in, in San Miguel, right? Yes. Okay. They would likely be a proposing company, and I would suspect, based on what I've seen in response to my other RFP, that they would be more than likely the, the strongest, the strongest proposer, potential yes. okay. for among the top, depending on who we were to get. It likely may, may be different because this is a municipal project as opposed to a smaller wine and viticulture building, which was a very, very limited uh, volume system. So this has potential to be a much more costly system, and we may get more response. Mm -hmm. Did you make the sole decision on hiring them? No, it was run through an RFP, so I had an evaluation committee, an evaluation team, and it was based on their evaluation to make the award. So I mean, that was the committee, and this is one of the five. Well, I was just the administrator of the team. I, I, you know, oh, it's nice to have on record, though. I just wanted to ask them the decision. Yeah, small world. Well, I've heard good things about the tour, so. Any public comment? I have a comment. Being that Pond 2 is down, how does that affect your um, percentage of hydraulic design capacity? Or is it pushing you closer to 100% because you don't have the ability to process further currently? That is, that's part of the reason the state isn't allowing us to do this indefinitely. It does affect the quality of the effluent. So it's not being processed through four, pond, four ponds and the settling doesn't take effect as, uh, as readily. So it, it does affect the total effluent quality, um, which is why we can't do this indefinitely. But as far as our, our uh, hydraulic design capacity, that really, we are low enough right now that it's not going to really affect it too much. But it does push us closer as far as our effluent quality limits. Okay. Any other? Board. Okay. Final words? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I really appreciate all the hard work that staff does, and I really don't think the staff gives enough um, appreciation, especially in the county world. and. Um, I was looking over CSDA's transparency certificate, which was requested five years ago. We're close. There's a few things on there that you haven't been able to do. Right, I know. You've got a million. So stuff. close. Because I would like for us to do that and then for us to put out a media release because I also saw that Templeton CSD got their name slapped in the newspaper because they got the SDRMA five years ago. It was the same thing that we got. You know, yeah, we've got it. Yeah. You know, but we got it first. But the thing is, we need the recognition for it. And I just want to make sure that we're getting that the staff's getting the recognition of the hard work that's going on here. The hardest part of having a head transparency is the newsletter. Mm -hmm. It has to go out. Right. That's that. Okay. That's really most of what we got, though. Mm -hmm. Go. I don't think I'm using a picture of you guys, if you have a nice picture you think is good for yourself, please send it to you Paul so we can post it on our I website. I need one from Hector, Ashley, and Jeff. It would be a great one of me being arrested by a stormtrooper. <laughs> you know, this is going to our website. Right? <laughs> 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 and then, Anthony, you talked about that. We talked about having maybe one group staff picture that would be Yeah, can you figure that out? <laughs> 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 
Liliana's doing it, but it's a little rough. <laughs> our, our facilities maybe? Yeah. Oh, does oh, that's good. We're going to get to that in a minute. Yeah, oh, yeah. Are we done with this item 7? Yeah. Yes. Board comment. We've been in board comment. Board comment. Again. On item 7 or in general? I, I agree with Anthony. Thank you, staff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Concur. That's it? That's it. Okay. Uh, functional capacity meeting date. Functional space. So, yeah, functional works space. Sessions. Functional work space. space. Functional, functional passes slash, yeah. operate, yeah. slash yeah. operational needs. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Making informal has to be work So we had a December 5th calendar. If there's cool. something going on with that. I keep getting mail about that. Uh, no, there's something. I don't know what it is. Somebody couldn't be here on the fifth, and then we talked about the sixth. I got the. I'm on night shift. You can't. On the do fifth. It. Yes. Well, <laughs> I'm more about what the sixth. What day is the fifth? It's Thursday. Thursday. I'm on night shift on Friday too. I'm on well, night shift all the way through until the following week. Until the Saturday, the or no, until mm -hmm. Tuesday the tenth. Yes. So Tuesday the 10th. So the 12th. What about the 12th? The 12th. December 12th. Something's happening on the 12th. Thursday the 12th. December 12th? Yes. Irishman Falls. That's on the 13th. On the 13th. I remember that was the and day you were electrocuted on the 13th. And we had the same thing going on. And the 10th is our meeting. Mm -hmm. You want to tell about that? Six o'clock? Yeah. 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 Christmas. That's on the 10th. Oh. Yes. Well, December 12th, then? 6 o'clock. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking to see what you're talking about. December 10th is the second Tuesday of the month, and that's our San Miguel CSD dinner that we do every year at Christmas dinner. Yeah, so we're talking 12th. about the 12th. The 12th. Who's inviting you to dinner? Oh, thank you. Call. All board members, family members. Sign up in the hallway. Please, please let us know. Bring a dish, mm -hmm. bring your family, bring your fun. Just jump it around. Wait, Elka. 6 o'clock. Six o'clock. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Twelve. Well, I have an email. Oh. Don't worry. We're good. At our last meeting, the question was asked: Is there a maximum number of people who can live in a home? Is it determined by the number of bedrooms in that home? Can you help? Yeah. And the answer came, it is my understanding that there is a California Supreme Court case that came out of Santa Barbara in which the court made a ruling that in the absence of a health and safety issue, zoning codes that purport to limit the number of individuals living in a home will not be held up by the courts. Title, two, tw Title 22 is silent on this issue. There may be something in the building code that is relevant to the issue. Mike and Ben, can you please comment if you have any pertinent information? In the case, Nick is referring to City of Santa Barbara versus Adamson. The California Supreme Court held that a local agency cannot limit the occupancy of a residence by distinguishing between related and unrelated persons. Under the building code, residential occupancy is generally limited to 16 or fewer. A residential unit with greater than 16 occupants would trigger more stringent building requirements than a typical single-family residence. <clears throat> the building code limit of 16 people per residence is typically the number I cite when the question arises. So they are more than welcome to have 15. How about cars? <laughs> uh, yeah. You can, have, you can have one project car that's not registered. Yeah. If they're registered, hey, park them on the front lawn, baby. Bring them. No, this happened. I got a refrigerator. With this. <laughs> right in the refrigerator. I mean, they're they're nice. Ten to twelve cars yeah. were parked on their side of the street and on my side. Until I told them, I'm so sorry. Yeah. If they leave them for 72 hours, you can have them. Yeah, I know. Is that a boat you're going to tell them? Yeah. The boat's been moved. Oh, I already That came from Nick Forrester and Ben Dore, D-O-R-E, and Vicky. 
Jansen was involved. Yeah. She got, she's the one that forwarded it to me. Okay, so that was that was based on the question we asked. So the state has a um, a rule in terms of mobile homes, mobile home parks. Right. It's the, there it's, is a residency law in terms right. of how many can live based on the number of bedrooms. Because of the structural, the way the building right. is constructed, right. that's what comes down to. It. Yeah. So what is the limit on a, in a mobile home? Two per bedroom. Yeah. Okay. I see. I've heard What's that before. Yeah. Yeah. Any input? And yeah, I said four <clears> typically, course, but it didn't get forwarded to jump. Typically, because well, we just gave them there's an owner of the park, they can set a different standard anyway. I believe. No, I think you can. Not in terms of um, the There's a uh, The last thing I want to discuss about is how long have you been in Turo, General Manager? Uh, June. Two, let's see, 17, 18, so two and a half. Years. So we're kind of, we're kind of, I, I, my opinion, we're wearing out the word. Yeah. And I think that we should <coughs> do something, um, whatever the board wants to do, but I think it's time to um, either do a GM search, and if Rob's interested in, in applying, he's more than welcome to. I know that he has other plans in his life that it's going to change and it's it's going to it's not going to be to the district's terms it's going to be to Rob's terms um, and I'm thinking that we should have a discussion at least and um, and find out more about what what's in his plan and develop a strategic way to move forward or not but I think it's a discussion that after two years the district should be having. So, would that be it? And that's going to be my parting action as the president. Don't nominate me again. Retired. Um, but yeah, I would agree consensus. with that. Consensus. Consensus. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> it was just erasing interim from in front of his name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, whatever. whatever. Anyway, it's I, a discussion that needs to be had, though. And I believe i got to confer with legal on it too because there's some parameters because I'm a CalPERS employee in the mm -hmm. state and it does affect my position here and what I can do um, and what takes place there. Um, I just calculated out. I have three years tops with the state and I'll be retired so uh, that's going to change my ability of what I can do here but the district is changing what it needs to do and I've talked to John about it and the you know, if we're moving forward, there, there'll have to be a time that things need to be in place so that we move in a positive direction. <clears throat> I'm not leaving. I don't plan on stopping doing the, the fire chief thing, if that's what you think. But as the general <clears throat> manager and the overall overseer of the whole operation, um, you know, it's time to start the discussion because... Look uh, down the road a little ways. Well, not yeah, just that, but we're building a new so sewer facility. Can, can sewer I pump facility. Yes, just a moment. We're, we're, we're going into 